So let's take a look at copper. This is a piece of copper that I cut on my torch. So it has a very jagged edge. And the deal with that, I'm gonna show you, is to cut your transfer inside the jagged edge. So you can lay it down onto the surface. So this is a thing to use for different size of objects. And the sides are different you can cut around it and then place it where you want to or cut it smaller or do little pieces, whatever the design you want to do. This is one that I've already finished and it's on a, you know, the same piece of copper, only a uh, different cutout. So first what I'm going to do, well, I have my transfer fluid and I got all my tools. I'm going to take a ma um, magic marker. Actually, it's not really, it's a Sharpie. On the shiny side, not the side that the ink is on. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to go around pretty much where everything lifts up. It's impossible to get a transfer to press down if you have um, things that are sticking up because it'll lift everything away from the surface. So you can cut it in as far as you want. You could do it ever you want. When you start doing this, you just decide what is best for you as you discover all the different possibilities. So I have my cut out there. Then I'm just gonna take my scissors, cut it out. I save all my scraps from all my transfers because they really go a long way if you have them around. And then you can just through, pick through a box from them unless you're looking for something specific that you wanna print. And then you wanna be careful with that. I want to try to get my fingers not on top of the print and into the ink. Sometimes it's tricky. And I just cut a little bit into the line because it's okay if it gets a little bit smaller. What you don't want it to be is larger so that a side will pull up and the ink will stay away from the surface. So then I'm going to try this. Now here's the trick. You have to really make sure you don't mess up if the piece is not so defined like this. You don't want to mess up and have the wrong side because then you won't have the ink down. Okay, so now I can see how this is going to work. So I'm going to take this away. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take like a, a scotch bright pad. And I don't want to get my fingers all over the metal. So I'll hold it with a towel and I'll scratch it up and clean it off. Take some of the grease off the metal and gets it a little bit cleaned up. Then I'm going to take a cloth and wipe it off. And again, I don't want to get my fingers all over it. You can make this wet if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just want all the dust off of it. The metal has already been cleaned and washed. So then I'm just going to take my transfer fluid, put my brush in, brush this across without putting my hands on the metal. When you do this, uh, remember not to let any bubbles come up because if you see bubbles here in the transfer fluid, then you'll probably see bubbles when it is all done. So from there, I'm going to put this in here. I want to kind of start it at the center so I get it where I want it to be because you don't want to slide it around once the ink gets wet just like I did right there. Okay, then you're going to want to hold it very carefully. And I'll start out with towels, little pieces of towels, and rub it all down and get it adhered. And then I'm going to watch my three to four minutes. Sometimes on metal it's a little quicker, but you don't want to rush the process because then you can get bubbles that you might have to pop.
Now I have this other little wedgy thing that's littler. It's from a my ceramic tools. I don't do ceramics anymore, so I don't really need it in my tools. And so it helps in these little places to have a little bit of a wedge that you can work with this. You can find them at stores that have ceramic products. And I'm going to let it go and wait my three and a half to four minutes. Picking it up. So it wants to move a little. We could have put tape under it to keep it down. And there's my transfer.